I know you have a little, you know, moment with Princess Rebecca, right? Yeah. And you mentioned that after life is a big part of your life. You have stories about your car, so I don't want to let the viewers know a little bit of insight of Afterlife. Okay, so, um, what, 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 tell me, what do you want, what do you want to share with you? Well, you mentioned that there's a brother physically okay. in the car. Yes, yes, so one of uh, my fallen brothers, uh, may he rest in peace, I was at a uh, Viva, what is it, Viva, Nevada, or Viva Laughlin, I think it's called, over in Laughlin, Nevada, and, um, I know she's still here trying to kill me if I say something wrong. <laughs> Back then, women, they would say, oh, they belong in the kitchen. No nurse, nowhere working, nowhere near the park. Right. Now it's a whole different ball game. A whole different ball game. And you know what? When I go out there and I represent, like I was just sharing with you guys that my first year of bow riding, I did 27 car shows that year. You know, came back home with 25 and so it's a different time for sure but I'm also grateful to everyone to all of the low riding community that has welcomed us women with open arms and that's real good because that's how it's supposed to be a big welcome all, all, all low riders doesn't matter what car club doesn't matter what kind of car right. old, new like 
feel like because it's more the newer generation yes. of low rise. Like for myself, I got a 2003 Lincoln Town Car, which is a whole different body style of this Lincoln Town Car. We'll get to that later. <laughs> but it's just generations that prosper and get better, and better, and better. Next thing you know, who knows? They will be right now. All these cars are burning. Right. And there was... Shout out to all of you, by the way. I'm super proud of each and every one of you for repping the way you do. There you go. Viva la mujer. <laughs> and then, correct me if I'm wrong, last weekend or two weekends ago, there was ladies of the riding yes. trip cruise. Yes, and those were those from Pasadena. Hey, Sandy, shout out to you. Hey,
behind right? you now. Yeah. You're behind 10 years. <laughs> Thank you, Javier. Appreciate that, bro. Sylvia, so, yeah, you don't mind me asking, what is the trippiest thing that ever happened to you in your heart? Spiritually wise. Spiritually wise. Oh, um, I have had um, people, complete strangers that I've never met, um, be drawn to the car. And they have had a family member or a loved one that has transitioned. And it just opens up. A reading, a spontaneous reading that I would be able to communicate with their loved ones. Again, I'm a medium and psychic, so to be able to connect people to their loved ones that have passed away and to give them messages of hope and inspiration, it's such a big honor. So I really trip out on how the car just naturally brings those people from the thousands of spectators that come to car shows. Those are the specific ones that come straight to afterlife and that just organically evolves and it's, it's a beautiful amazing thing yeah yeah out of a car show it was not at a car show um it was the first time that i had to separate from the car for a total of three days because the team at sets and buds detailing uh took it to their spot and i said do what you gotta do to it right just and don't touch this one spot <laughs> just don't touch this one spot <laughs> but um it was so funny because when i when i arrived and it was time to like turn her on and lock her up in the trailer she wouldn't turn on and she had never done that before and the joke was alex was mentioning like oh she's mad at you she's definitely mad at you so um it took us quite a minute to figure out it was something so simple and stupid but once we got it we all laughed about it we're able to turn her on and lock her up in the trailer gave us a perfectly good logical explanation why. So what happens 
happens is whenever you have uh, batteries and digital um, and you have spirits that are coming forth, they will very easily tap into the battery life of our phones, of our cameras, um, so that it's easier for them to manifest and, and let it be known that they're here amongst us and with us. So, um, yeah, I am sorry that the battery died, but not really because that just, I know, and it confirms to me that we're, they're here with us. That's good, and it's all love. Yes. It's all love, that's what it is. And that's, we never had it happen to us before. So she explained it, and now more comfortable with it. More comfortable with it. So, gente, right before the battery died, we were literally talking about the door jams, and she mentioned a few names wrong. <laughs> I drew a blank. I drew a blank. I was like, uh, I had a Dory moment. It's okay. It's yeah. Okay. Keep, keep swimming. Yeah, that's right. Keep swimming. And it's just their way of keeping it light as well as, you know, making us laugh about it. It's all good. That's good. That's, that's all love. That's what it is. Like, like, we, like we stated earlier, no riding is all about love, fun, family. That's what it is. It's just those they were here, close, very close to your heart. That's, that's what it's all about. So, now for the next part of the interview, Sylvia, I'm going to bring back my lovely wife and sister, make them such for better. All right, sounds good. Okay. Into Alex's hands, and he 
and everybody with Suds and Buds, Raul, they take care of it. And um, this is all you. Yes, uh, thank you. My name is uh, Big Al with Suds and Buds Detailing. This is actually going to be one year, March 26th. Uh, one year of Suds and Buds Detailing. And uh, actually one year anniversary of meeting after life introduction and with the sponsorship in March. We met at the Takeover Super Show. Yes. And from then on, we've just been vibing and vibing and making it happen from here on out. And it's, we're honestly on the ultimate lowrider super experience. This has been such an honor and a privilege to work with Afterlife on behalf of the members that this vehicle is dedicated to. It's just been an absolute honor. It's just like, it's, it's, truly, it's a true meaning for my heart because I have a passion for low riding and these cars. So when I put everything into these cars, when I'm touching them and I'm spending that time with them, it's quality time. It's man and I put my hands and all into it as it feels mine. And uh, to be able to say that we're sponsoring this vehicle is an absolute honor. Thank you, Sylvia, Javier, and Tegni Sparko. Thank you very much. I was also wondering, is it just techniques that you work with, or do you do like commercial vehicles, or like regular? So it's uh, various uh, vehicles, everything from um, diesel big rigs, RVs, commercial vehicles. We do actually have a contract with new people. We service their uh, maintenance, their uh, delivery transport vehicles. Uh, we have another uh, contract with uh, another transport company, Atlanta Cucamonga. And also, it's just a, this is just a big chip off the rock that just an extra add-on. And uh, like I said again, it's just a love and a passionate thing that I have for this scene. And it's not just the lowrider scene, we're in the hot rod scene, racing scene, we're everywhere, man. We're everywhere. We do it all, we do the work. As AJ would say, my son, he's a big, he's our hype man, honestly. He's the he's the riff and rap of this uh, company. He makes it happen. He's a, he's a he's a character of himself. And you guys we can't, we can't wait for you to meet him. He's six years old. Oh, that's yes, so absolutely. Cute. And the whole relationship, the whole working relationship started because of AJ. Yes. There was just this connection at the show, and I couldn't get the kid out of my mind. And it just snowballed from there, right? Well, it hit really uh, threw him off, had him mind boggled. It was that this vehicle was owned by a lady. It was a lady lowrider. He didn't know that girls could have lowriders. <laughs> So Sylvia set him straight and said, hey, this is mine. You better watch yourself. So he learned the lesson that day. Well, thank you so much Absolutely. for, you know, being a part of the video. We'll shoot out your name. We got some business cards. So we'll shoot out your name. And you did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we're going to do a walkthrough now with you. If you could tell us a little bit about all of your details sure. and everything. Sure, I, I first want to uh, bring the attention to my hood. Um, I decided to go with the cross after, um, after all, what do we think about, right, in the afterlife. And it's usually, you know, things uh, that strengthen us in faith. And so for me, it was important to have the cross on there. Uh, the designs, um, my pinstriping and patterns, um, uh, silver leafing, I'm sorry, were by Chavo's pinstriping out of Arizona. He is an amazing artist with a just outstanding talent. Um, you'll be able to see on that on both sides of the hoods here, I have an open space because that's where murals are going to come in of the brothers. So I'm not done. I'm not done not yet. Done. With the Continuing. Nope. Watch your step. <laughs> Again, we have uh, some more of the, uh, of the details, but there's something in particular about the car in this area that I just absolutely love, which are the A-arms. The A-arms are off of a caddy. And so, again, we have Master Engraver Castaneda's work there. Names. The interior 
is by California Upholstery. I just love my interior. And that is uh, a Nardi steering wheel, signed Nardi steering wheel. I have my switches. So I get this question asked um, at least once every other week on, on my Instagram account. I have people that reach out uh, to me uh, because they know and see that I have the Nardi there. And the question is, um, what what um, extension did I use in order to install that Nardi steering wheel? It was just one from AutoZone. Um, it was a, from a, a Mustang. So if you guys go to AutoZone and you ask for a Mustang, that will fit and be able to, you'll be able to put your Nardi steering wheel into this oh, uh, thing. Awesome. So wanted to share that with you guys. We have Sam Bam, our beloved Sam Bam from East LA Chapter. You have the lighting and everything. Yes. Who did your lighting on the... Everything on the, the interior was California upholstery. Oh, okay. They did an amazing job. As you can see, also the design on the light and the headliner as well. Yes, I didn't know that. Blue. And also I have my patterns. I don't know if you'll be able to catch it, but there's patterns on top of the car. As well as my trunk. And it goes back into that um, back deck. In my trunk, um, I have eight batteries four on each side underneath here so I've got four tucked in here four over there and my two pumps I got front and back okay the Lincoln detailing and everything yes yes a lot of people think that uh, this is fiberglass and it's not this is all woodwork so oh really yes, yes. I thought it was fiberglass right. myself no. wow yeah, that's another unique aspect. That's of my amazing. Trunk. You would never think that. No. Yeah. You, yeah. There we go. There's Afterlife. And so, what was the story behind the coloring? So the story behind the coloring, um, Afterlife is um, House of, of Color Black. It's just the white, no, the black too, because yes. it shows up. Yeah, yes, it shows up real easy. And then um, the coloring, um, as you can see, this part of the pinstriping matches the Techniques blue, which is very was very important to me. And then the other blue that you see throughout the car, I got that for Dodgers. It's little Dodger blue, which is right in here. So you're a big Dodger fan. Yes, I am. <laughs> Dodgers and Raiders. Raiders! <laughs> oh, my husband's going to hear you over there. <laughs> That's amazing. And who did this detailed work over here? So, again, that's some of uh, Chavo's pinstriping, beautiful uh, pinstriping out of Arizona. That's amazing. Yes. And you have lighting and everything on the bottom. Yes, I do. She lights up. Beautiful, gorgeous car. Oh, but thank you for having us, and you have a gorgeous car, and we'll be cheering for you for the Super Show. Thank you so much. I want to thank you, Rebecca, Daniel, and your son for coming out. Thank you guys were troopers, and it's been an amazing day, and we had an amazing experience, and I want to thank you. I it was honored to be able to do that for you. Thank you so much. And
So actually, off of camera, we had a little session with Sylvia. I did not know, I wasn't aware that Sylvia was a medium. And she let me know of, you know, my mother that passed and I, it was amazing. It, it was so, thank you. It was a blessing to hear and be aware of, you know, the afterlife and to know that they're there and I'm just glad to be here with you and thank you so much. I mean, it's been a honor to be here and to meet you and to be a part of the video and it's been great. So thank you so much. Thank you so and much. Is there any upcoming events that you're going to be doing besides the LA Secret Show that you want to announce to everybody? You know, I'm really going to try to make it out uh, to the Lowrider uh, Super Show in, I believe it's August in Denver, Colorado. That's definitely in the books for me. Um, this year it's going to be a little bit more toned down for me because I've started a new career. Um, I am a real estate agent. first year of being a real estate agent and I'm having a lot of fun and I'm super busy. Shout out to my boss from Stylistics Car Club, George Perez. Oh, <laughs> I told him, hey, I need the day off because I need to go prepare. He's like, go do you. Go do you. But he's <laughs> understanding because he knows he how knows. it is too. He knows and he understands and he supports me 110%. That's amazing. And again, it's just, you know, 